Hey guys, Mike with Iceberg Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another World of Warcraft gold making guide for you guys in our Should You Farm It series. If you've ever wanted to get started making some gold in World of Warcraft but you didn't know where to start, this video series is for you. In this episode we'll be asking and answering the question, Should You Farm The Tillers? Get it? Because you can make a farm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get down to it. So, um, the Tillers is a reputation in Pandaria. Uh, check out my channel for a guide on how, how to get started with them. They are located at Half Hill here in the Valley of the Four Winds on Pandaria. And uh, once you get started, you'll have a field that looks like this. I've gone ahead and planted snake roots. And um, you can do this farm in about just under three minutes per character. So uh, you're looking at uh, about 10 characters per half hour. This is the 10th character that I've done this on today. So we're gonna go over the results uh, as soon as I finish this. I just wanna show you guys how we do this farm real quick once you get all set up. It's pretty quick and easy. So you're just going to go ahead and harvest all your crops. Uh, you'll get some occupied soil. You'll just kill off the varmints real quick and keep moving. Sometimes you'll get stubborn weeds. Take care of those real quick. Sometimes you get lucky and you have less. Sometimes you'll be unlucky and there'll be more. We're getting a little bit unlucky on this run through. Once you've got all those popped out, you'll take your master plow. What's my name again? My name is Mr. Plow, Master Plow. And then you'll just um, go down the row with your plow I try to aim these so that you run into something, otherwise sometimes uh, it'll keep going and that'll cost you extra time. Like there we hit the the water, the sprinkler, so that stopped our plow. Then we'll move over to our other column, harvesting all of our snake roots. Snake root is the uh, one you want to plant if your goal is gold. That way you'll get the Ghost Iron and the Trillium, which sells really well. Uh, you can also get Motes of Harmony or Pandaria Herbs if you are interested in those. Always, As always, check out your own server, the prices, and uh, see what's best for you. Or if you're working on professions, obviously do what you need to do for your professions. You can also get Cloth or Enchanting Materials if you prefer. And then you're going to take your bag of seeds and just chuck them down. I do all four uh, at once, save time. And once you've got your seeds planted, you have to take care of them. You'll get uh, multiple different variants. These, these insect infested ones, you'll just hit your pest repellent here in the middle. Um, and then to water the parched ones, you'll hit the sprinkler. These snake roots, you jump on and then you will flex on them and then bite them if they try to smack you. You have to get up to 50 stacks to end the little mini game. These, this uh, variant is the one that takes the most time, so if you get less of these, you'll be a little faster. And then the wiggling ones spawn a little varmint, so you'll just, oops, wrong button. Just kill them real quick. And pop over here and hit the sprinkler and the repellent. I usually do, do those two right away and they hopefully take out most of uh, your your plants. These ones with the light on them attract a bird. And we've got another wiggler with a varmint and one more with a snake root. So we'll just spam the flex until he tries to slam us and then we'll bite him. And there you go, we're all done. So that took just under three minutes. And this is the result from a half hour of doing this on alts. So let's go back to Stormwind and we'll throw these up on the auction house and see how much gold we made. Sorry about the lag, apparently my connection's a little slow today. Uh, if I would have known this was going to take so long, I would have paused the recording. All right, I'm going to pause the recording.
Okay, sorry about that. We are at the auction house, so let's go ahead and see what we've got here. We've got 79 black trillium, looking at about 4,500. We've got 81 white trillium, looking at around 34. And uh, 145 ghost iron. So that's another 3K. So that's uh, about 10, 10K gold for a half hour's work. So you're looking at around 20,000 gold per hour. Uh, the more alts you have, the more gold you can make from this farm. So if you're an altaholic, this is definitely a farm for you. But even if you're not, it is definitely worth the time. So I am for sure going to give this one a yes. Yes, you should farm the tillers for gold. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm.